Well, hello everyone, and welcome to another edition of Talking Bullion. Well, it's been a little while since I put out a video. Been pretty busy taking care of other things in life, but I'm still loving precious metals, gold and silver. Still stacking the bullion once in a while. You know, things got up there pretty high. Kind of a little discouraging when you're used to paying quite a bit less. You know, lately things have come down a little bit. They've settled down slightly, but still quite a bit more than I'm used to paying. So I've kind of backed down a little bit and at the same time taking care of other things. But I did pick up something I'm pretty excited about. Haven't done an unboxing in a long time. But for talking bullion, this stuff is pretty exciting. So why don't we go ahead and take a look. All right, well, I looked it up in my last video, and this was just about a year ago, if you can believe that. I used to put videos out two or three times a week. And this stuff, when I was buying it back when it was 9x and 10x. But this stuff has just gotten way out of control. So let me get some uh, information out of here. Okay, let me get the guy who sold it to me. Let me get his name out of there. Alright, so this is what I got. Some junk silver. Let me turn this other light off here. That's a little better. Gets that yellow out of there. Wow, it's been a long time since I picked up any of this. And really it's because of the price. I still love this stuff. I still desire to own more and more of it. But I just have a hard time paying the price. But let's go ahead and dump it out and see what I have here. I think I remember. In fact, I think the guy wrote it down. A little cheat sheet for me. So I put it in a bunch of paper towels. I guess to stop it from clanking around. And so got some 64 Kennedys here. Should be four of those. There's another one. And oh, there's a fourth one. It's just not in the flip. All right, cool. Let me see what else. 15 quarters. One, two, three, four. I don't know why some are in flips and some aren't. But look at this, folks. Oh, this is selling that silver. I love this stuff so much. Ah, it's been so long. But here's the deal. You know, I just felt like I was getting it for a good price. I bought it from an auction on one of the social media platforms. And I made a bid, got up there a little high for my liking. I'm like, oh, I'll do one more. Probably won't make it. If it does, great. And it did. So I paid 19 times, I think 19.1 or 19.2, just over 19 times for all this. This is $8.05 worth of junk silver face value. And so I thought 19 times was a pretty good deal. Now, again, my frame of reference is 10 times when I bought it a few years ago. But... To get some more, just to, you know, scratch that itch, as they say, I wanted to buy a little something, something. So let's take a look here at what this stuff is going for on the online bullion dealer website. So if we go over to the desktop here, we can see here that JM Bullion is selling a dollar face for 31.2 times. Wow. Now, JM Bullion, since I got bought out several months ago, is just, in my humble opinion, not the best place to shop. Cost-wise, they have some pretty cool items you can buy, but cost-wise, it's not the place I like to go to anymore. It's my go-to place. It used to be. I used to buy almost always from JM Bullion. Not anymore. All right, so let's go to a different one. I've got Monument pulled up over here. Even Monument has 24.7 times... Uh, the halves are 25.8 times. So you can see here that at 19 times, this was a pretty good deal in today's world, right? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop these out of these flips. I don't know if they're considered special. Well, 1964 dime, is it? We know that. 61. I'm just not sure about these S's. Probably not, though. If they were special, I wouldn't have 
sold them in a pile of other stuff. So I'm going to pop them out of these flips. And I'm going to see if I have some tubes I can put these in. Because I don't, I don't store my junk silver in flips or usually loose. I like to have some idea of what's where. So I keep them in the guardhouse box tubes. But until they get full and they move over to a guardhouse box tube, I put them in these other tubes. You know, just something easy to get into. Throw them in there, count them. You get the full roll, like 40 of them for quarters. Throw them into a guardhouse tube. But this is my, my barbers, my barber quarters. See here, I got quite a few of them, but not a full tube. So I just have different containers. Here's my JFK, so we'll cut these out of here. Throw them into here. Here's my uh, Barber Dimes. I have a couple rolls of those, but this is my currently active roll. Here's some SLQs, Standing Liberty Quarters. Got about half a roll of those. Kind of cool, huh? All right, and here's my Washington Quarter partial roll. So what I'll do is I'll put all these quarters into here, and it's not going to fill up, and I'll just Keep on this till it gets full, then I'll move it over, and this is kind of my active partial container that I work on. Then here is my Mercury Dimes partial roll. This has got to be almost full, probably pretty soon, because these Mercury's got pretty far down. So a full roll on these is probably going to be just three or four more dimes, and that'll be full. And it looks like I need to get out another twisty container, plastic container for my rosies because I got a partial bag here and I'll throw these into I know I got I know I got some more of these around somewhere I'll just have to dig them out but I need one for my active collection to get all these into there so pretty cool huh so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a moment here and I'm gonna cut all these out of the flips because I want to see a nice pile all right Give me a sec. Okay, so I am back with all these great coins uh, taken out of their packaging. Ready to go on some rolls and some tubes like they were meant to be. So what I do then is I just find my Kennedy half tube. Again, I got other tubes for the other halves. So there's a barber tube. And walk-in Liberty tube and I probably have a Franklin in here somewhere and I even have one for my 40% Kennedy so anyway I just organize I have all these partial tubes for organizing while I'm trying to get a full tube all right so let's go ahead and get these Kennedys there's four of them one looks Pretty cool. I love the back design on these uh, Kennedys. Just such a cool design. Man, look at that cartwheel on that thing. Woo! That luster. That thing's a beauty. Wow, very nice. Here's a third one. Some nice luster to it. And my fourth one. Alright, so now I'm. 25% of the way there. Takes 20 to fill a tube. I've got five. So let me see. And there's supposed to be 15 quarters. So my Washington quarters are right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So you always need to verify that you got what you paid for, right? So there we go. Put 15 quarters in there. There's already a couple in there. So almost halfway done with that roll. So that's pretty cool. And then the rest for dimes. Now I don't have my temporary holder for my dimes. I will find one though. I don't know how many are here? It looks like 10 or 12 are in here, but I'm supposed to have 23. So let me count them 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 12, 
14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 23. All right. So 23 dimes. I'll go with my maybe 12. Let's add 35 dimes. So that would be 15 away from a roll. Because a roll of dimes has 50 of them in there. So, wow. What do you think about that? Pretty nice little... Uh, Little pile of the old junk 90% silver, huh? Yeah, it's been, like I said, almost a year since my last video on this. It's how long I've waited to pick something up. And even back then, I think I only picked up a couple bucks worth. So there's about 35 dimes. And uh, got the quarters. Got the halves. And I'll, I'll save these little uh, flips here. 1947s. What is it? I think the 48 dime is not rare, but you know, not as common. So I'll go through and just, just um, these will be a quick reference guide for me to pull up my red book and just look them up and see uh, what the minages were. But again, I believe if they had any value at all, they wouldn't have sold them just in a pile of uh, everything else. But you know, sometimes people don't know the value. When I first got into uh, collecting this stuff, I gave away. A lot of stuff that I shouldn't have. I was giving away Barber halves and my live streams, Barber quarters, and I realized I was going through the Red Book doing some research, and those, some of those Barber halves could have been worth a lot of money. I could have given away something that was pretty rare, and uh, I, I didn't even know it. I was just, you know, <laughs> just didn't have the knowledge that, um, back then that I have now. So I actually gave away a lot in my early days of live streaming. Me and Mrs. DB gave away a lot of free silver. We gave away ounces of it. Um, junk silver, silver rounds, collectible silver. There's one thing I gave away that really regretted it later. Not that I'm not a giving guy, that's fine, but I just, uh, it was something that I couldn't replace. And, you know, I probably shouldn't have given it away, but it is what it is. And uh, so you really gotta check your stuff and just make sure, because you never know when something could slip through and you could have something with, with some value in it. All right, so that's it, folks. That's what I have. I got myself $8.05 worth of junk and I uh, already put a lot of it away. I don't have it in a nice pile anymore, but some dimes, some quarters, some halves, and I am happy as can be. That's it for now. Thank you for watching, and always remember, let's keep talking bullion.